It's Sunday, 19 December, 2021, and uh, I'm on the track 1120, cycling to uh, Bonavista MRT. There's a McDonald's there next to uh, Ministry of Education headquarters uh, to meet up with Benedict and uh, Whaley. Uh, I offered them a choice of ride, whether it's a workout, an exploration, or chill out ride in Sentosa. And I think we're opting for an exploration of the east side. So we're talking about Katong and Katong and Juchet area. There's a landmark or destination that we're plotting. After which we explore. There's a cafe there that uh, some cyclists say it's pretty neat and it has an indoor bike parking as well. It's called Little Road Cafe. And uh, so we're gonna see if we can make our way there. All right, stay tuned. Okay, here with uh, Benedict on his Cannondale Vintage mountain bike and uh, Whaley's up front with his grill which he's adjusted because it didn't really fit him properly so he's got longer handlebar stem and all that so we're on the green corridor heading south towards Tanjong Paga area and from there we'll go to uh, Everton make our way through Shenton Way to MBS and then uh, probably East Coast and then hit up Tanjong Katong Road for Little Road Cafe and take a look around the area. So enjoy! So we're now on Marina Barrage, it's quite nice. There's the city and because it's been raining through most of uh, last night and actually this whole month, it's quite nice and cool. So yeah. Uh, there's now two sides to go on, Garden by Bay East and then there's the stuff on the right which if you go there, you can still go to the East Coast but you'll have to take the road, there's a service road at the back. I guess we do this one? Yeah, sure. Okay. Yeah, this one's a bit more quiet. Okay, so this is the part of the sort of like beach. There's no beach, uh, but basically here's the part of the coast where there's a bun sticking out, right? And it's meant as a water break. Um, and there's technically also a helipad at the end of the bun. Uh, usually, you know, it's marked by a, a larger circle, circular area for helicopters to land. Um, but because it's a very popular place for people to hang out, uh, Pre-COVID and during COVID, uh, now they have to block off that whole section. So we'll kind of show you a little bit of what that section looked like. 
we go over here, you notice that, um, let me just grab you. Basically these barriers were not here all the time and you see the bun there and then at the end there's like a larger circumference area where um, technically a helicopter could land. Uh. But yeah, this, this area I used to cycle all the way to the end. And now it's a bit quiet but usually this is an area where there are actually tons of like people flying kites and all that. And people hang around here having picnics and okay. All that. So right now we're at the garden by the bay east area and um, just after Marina Barrage and uh, we're gonna take this service road that goes behind the golf course. Uh, I think it's called, I can barely see the name there, Marina East Drive. So this road will lead you to, it's a bit industrial with trucks and all that but it will lead you to the overhead metal bridge that goes to East Coast Park. Okay, we are now at Little Road Cafe Hard Coffee, which is a cafe that has uh, that has bike parking inside. Hey, <laughs> just get the sign here. So we're going to give it a shot, see how it's like and we're on Tanjung Katong Road so it's quite pleasant next to a bus stop. Yes, mine. Thank you. And that's the seaweed butter. Yeah, very cool. So, uh, after the Little Rogue Cafe, we we didn't know exactly where else to go, so we uh, went to the Decathlon at near the indoor stadium. But unfortunately, uh, they used to let us bring our bikes in, but now they don't. And they were explaining that it's because they didn't want uh, the bikes to leave a trail in the store. So we didn't feel safe like leaving our bikes outside. So we decided to just press on. And we're going to take a casual like coast, coastal ride from indoor stadium, follow the PCN. Uh, along the coast of uh, Kalang and uh, eventually reaching, reaching uh, F1 pit stop the Singapore Fly area and then MBS and all that so yeah, right now we're at the uh, Kalang Leisure Park area Tanjong Ru area and we're just gonna make our way uh, to the PCM So this is the revised Robertson Key area. Uh, I skipped all the busy busy parts but you can see that they demarcated like walking paths and shared paths in a way. Uh, which is nice. Very uh, pleasant um, and a lot of space to uh, navigate around. Of course we don't ride fast but the whole point is uh, 
the shared experience is much better because you don't you're not confined and there'll be particularly very slow traffic like uh, parents with kids or with pets and that would not need to hold up the whole lane so it's quite good design here and across from us is the where Zoop used to be now it's totally demolished and um, condominiums are coming up Thank you. When you hold the Kogi inverter, it's like he's here already. Yeah. Like the tongue hole. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Are you planning another dog or no more? Uh, no, no, no. Oh, your dog is still okay. Uh. I thought I passed away. So. No, I mean, uh, we're not getting another dog until I guess grown up a bit more yeah, uh, but will you get a Jack Russell again or uh, maybe okay uh, I'm open to try different dog uh. yeah, yeah. yeah Jack Russell is super high school like, so yeah but good and bad yeah yeah So we should totally redo the pipeline trail again. We asked when uh, Jason and Kurt are free. Yeah. Sure. yeah. Okay. Ben, would you join us? Uh, remember we did a pipeline trail hike, uh, but now we have better knowledge on how to navigate it. Yeah, we can do the full Monty. Yeah. Beer, bread, beer, and brews. That's like what? 35 degrees incline. Phoenix Park.
But that's so cool. Okay, we're now at this German beer place called the uh, Bread, Beer and Brisen. It's right next to uh, Flourish Big House. So this is the iconic Queenstown Public Library, still around. Very signature architecture look and feel. And then across from it is all these brand new spanking new HDBs. Uh, really looks almost like Pinnacle, of course it's iterated. And if you look at where I'm pointing you guys now, this middle part here, it looks like they're about to re-establish the... There was a quite a happening market here, la, food and all that. So it looks like they're about to rebuild that as well. So this whole area is really very fascinating. Um, yeah, Market Drive is coming back to life to some extent. There used to be a cinema here, quite, quite well known, and that's demolished already. So, and here we are at Market Drive. On the right hand side, once you get past that car park, right, there's a shortcut to get to Dempsey area. So you can imagine how close we are actually. Okay, we're gonna probably make a left to carry on. Okay, we're at the tail end of our trip now. Um, I've said goodbye to Ben and Whaley. We parted ways along uh, Queenstown area. And I'm now on Queensway, heading towards Alexandra Road and Depot Road where I live. So, we're now on the PCN and uh, all together we clocked about, let me see, 26 plus 17, that's like 40. Wait up. Uh, 26 plus 17, so that's like uh, 43 there about kilometers, not not too much, but it's been a short pleasant ride uh, to the east side and then back here. And uh, the cafe, the cafe, Little Rogues Cafe, is actually pretty good. Uh, ben is quite quite a connoisseur when it comes to coffee and and the food and all that, and uh, it's remarkably good. Let's just put it that way. It's, it's pretty good. It's worth a trip. So especially if you're cycling, it's worth cycling there. And it has indoor bike parking too, so it helps. Of course, my bike is pretty big, so uh, I just parked it outside and within view. Uh, thereafter, we actually went to this German beer garden place at Phoenix Park at the top of the hill. I think it's called Bread, Beers and Reason. Uh, service was so-so, but food and pricing was very good. Yeah, the pricing especially was particularly good for all the selection of beers and drinks that you can have. And the atmosphere is very chill. And if you're a cyclist, it's perfect because, um, you know, you can watch your bike, it's al fresco, very free and easy. Totally recommend it. So yeah, it's been a fruitful day and uh, lots of great places to explore in Singapore. So do get your bike out and go and start cycling, especially uh, before the new year 2022. Burn off all your Christmas fat and all that. Okay, that's all for me today. Uh, till next time, au revoir. Bye bye.